Well, today I was a little bit surprised to find out that I had hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. And the 100th subscriber was City Urban Farm, uh, Jim Peckham. I think he said he was out of the UK and he's just getting started in some microgreens himself. And I've had a lot of people ask some questions, simple, you know, basic questions that they're just not sure of. And I thought I'd maybe take the time to answer some of those right now. One of those would be watering. How do I water my microgreens? How often do I water my microgreens? And so I'm going to show you that right now in this video and uh, you'll see it's very simple. So the way I water my microgreens is mostly by feel. So when I when I put this tray together and I, I soaked it really good with water before I planted, I got a feel for the weight. And this microgreen tray is still pretty heavy. This one is pretty heavy. This is radish. These were planted about five days ago. They've been uncovered for two days. This is cabbage. These are also pretty heavy. Planted about at the same time five days ago. So those are all set. Those don't need to be watered. This is some radish. This is actually almost ready to be harvested. It's actually pretty light, so that needs some water. Uh, you can see that there's a little bit of water actually on the leaves, and that would make you think that, well, this has probably got too much water in it, but that's not true. It's The water has actually evaporated from the tray, and it's collected on the leaves. This hole here in the greenhouse wall, that wasn't there until just now I cut that hole. And my fan up here, I have that off right now just for making the video and I have another fan here that also would be running. So that problem with the water wouldn't normally happen and it won't happen again. But So that actually does need water. This is a mix and that that's actually pretty good. These are beets, bull's blood, and these I, I watered these pretty heavy yesterday and so they don't need any water. Here's some uh, red garnet amaranth. You can see like that one little hole right there. I had a little bit of die off, and what I've learned is that as soon as you see die off with amaranth, go ahead and grab that whole area and just rip it out. And if you rip it out quick enough, it won't expand any further. And um, I'm still not 100% sure why it happens. I think it's from water collecting in that spot. I don't know for sure, but I do know if you get to it quick enough, you can save the rest of the crop and not have it all just cascade and die off. Here's some cabbage. Harvested a little bit of that last night for a chef that needed some today. I'm harvesting the rest of that tomorrow. That will be fine for tomorrow. That doesn't need any water. That's another thing you need to keep in mind is that when are you going to be harvesting them? If you're going to be harvesting them tomorrow and you, you think they're going to be okay till then, don't water them again. If you water them now, there's more of a chance of them getting wet. And if you don't want to harvest them wet because then you have to dry them and that's kind of a pain. This is some red garnet amaranth. Uh, didn't get great germination on this round. I'm not sure what I did wrong. I think I used the same amount of seeds I always use, but and because they were just uncovered yesterday, they don't they don't need water. Here is some red Russian kale. Same thing that was uncovered, just the same time as the uh, amaranth, and that won't be needing water. Here is some more red Russian kale. That one's gonna be good. Some broccoli. Could use a little bit of water. Some more broccoli. It actually feels pretty heavy. I think that's going to be okay. Here's two more trays of the mix. The Mountain Valley seed mix. These both could use a little bit of water. They don't have to be watered today. But Basically what I'm trying to tell you is that you don't even have to water them every day. Um, they Usually I can water every other day on almost everything. And you can really de determine how often you have to water them by the size of the crop. 
So something like radish that grows, you know, broad leaves and it gets pretty big, that needs to be watered pretty much every day. It also is going to depend on how much airflow you have. How hot is it outside? Is is there like the sun really beaming in here today? Um, something like the cabbage, I consider that kind of a middle of the road crop. It can usually be watered every other day. Like I said, the radish usually every day, but because it was just uncovered and it was so wet from when I planted it, that's going to be good for today. That's some uh, peas that I'm not having great germination with the peas. I think they're going to be okay. I just uncovered them today or unstacked them today. Um, they're soaked. They don't need to be watered, but I think because it's been so hot, the peas don't germinate as well as they normally would. This is more of the mix and that's okay. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to show you how I actually water. So you'll see all I have here is a regular garden hose with a sprayer on the end. I have it set to shower. So what I'll do is I normally do this with two hands. I'll just lift the tray and I'll spray in the bottom tray. But because I'm making the video, I, I kind of set them up so you can see what I'm going to do. So I'll just go ahead, spray a little bit of water in there. It's not a lot. It's just enough to kind of fill the ribs, go a little bit over the ribs. And I almost go more off, you know, time because I just I have a feel for how long it's going to take to get the amount of water I want. This was the amaranth. Amaranth doesn't use a lot of water. Um, they barely need water, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, but I'm only going to do a little bit. So you can see I spent a little bit less time on that. Here was that broccoli. I determined they actually both needed water, not just one. And those were actually, that's the first time they've been watered since I uncovered them. They were stacked for three days, and then I had a tray over the top of them for a day, and then I uncovered them. I don't think I even had to have the tray over the top of them for a day. They, they could have just been uncovered. Here's some of that mix. Planted the same time as the broccoli. So that's really it guys, that's all it takes. I mean, it's not a lot. Some of these won't have to be watered again for a couple days, or at least a, you know not tomorrow and maybe water the next day. But every day I come in here and I just check. I just kind of feel them. I check to see, uh, are they light? Are they kind of getting limp? That's another sign. Sometimes you put more soil in than you thought you did, so the tray is heavier than you expected, even though it's actually getting dry. The plant will let you know by it's starting to get kind of limp. You, you want to get it before that, but that's all you got to do. It's not a lot of work. I mean, I just spent probably two minutes of actually doing this. Um, most of the time I was making the video. And uh, really glad you guys have been watching the videos. And if you have any questions, let me know. And go ahead and keep subscribing, and I'll keep making the videos. Thanks.